and your hands are to your kneecaps now and you're going to slowly bring your knees in and out. So this is called Apanasana. It's a very, very good way to stretch your lower back. It's actually a forward fold if you think about it because we're creasing at those hips. And then let's roll the knees around and around in a circle so you feel both sides of your hip getting a little stimulation, a little massage and go the other way. And then place your feet flat on the floor so they're hip width apart. And we're going to do a sequence called Stargazer. So it's for our core and our back. So everybody uh, clasp their hands behind your head. So the idea of Stargazer is that you're gazing up at the stars, right? So you're just gazing up. Your head is always going to be cupped in your palms and your elbows are going to be out. You don't want to squeeze your elbows together. So first movements are a little subtle to work with. So take a breath and exhale, tuck your belly down and flatten your back, just flatten it. That will lift your hips up just a wee little bit. Then inhale, your belly comes up and your back arches a little. Exhale, draw the belly in flat to the floor, the hips come up just a wee little bit so that that movement is called our pelvic tilt. Of course, we do that many times in yoga. So one more time, inhale the arch. Exhale, flatten the back. This is when we're gonna lift the head and shoulders up just two or three inches. So flatten your back and head and shoulders are up two or three inches and hold. Good, slowly lower. And on your inhale, you're into that beautiful back bend, which would feel good because your belly's lifted and released. Exhale, flatten the back. And then lift the head and shoulders up again, another two or three inches. Keep pressing the belly button down into your spine. So you want to feel that core engaged. Then slowly lower again. Inhale, little back bend to release that. Exhale, we're going to flatten again. Head and shoulders are coming up. This time we're going to add a little twist. So take your right elbow towards your left thigh. You're just twisting the upper part, maybe the middle part of your body, and you're holding. Remember your belly's still pressing down, so there's a lot of things going on even though you're just holding here. Good, slowly lower down. Inhale, the back is arched, the belly relaxes, and exhale, we're pressing it back down into the earth, lifting the head and shoulders up. Keep pressing the belly down as the left elbow moves towards the right thigh. So this is an isometric, right? We're just isolating certain muscles and we're holding for strength. And then slowly we're going to lower We're going to do two more rounds. So inhale that little back bend. That should feel good to release those belly muscles. Exhale, flatten, head and shoulders up, right elbow towards the left thigh. And now the left foot off the ground about an inch or two, not much. This will engage the lower core muscles. Good. Slowly lower everything down. Last one. Take that inhale breath, release the belly. Exhale, flatten it down, head and shoulders up. Left elbow towards the right thigh and then the right foot off the ground, just a little bit. Keep pressing the belly down so that little activation is really key. Slowly lower. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, taking your hands away, bringing your hands to your kneecaps now. And we're gonna release the belly really good. So take a breath and exhale, bring your nose up towards your knee and your knee towards your nose. So just letting all of that muscle effort go. And then slowly lower all the way. So if you've got your block, you want to grab it. And we're going to place our block underneath our low back, the very long, short side of the block. Lift your hips up and place your block right underneath that. Good. So you want to feel that the block is supporting your low back and not that arch part of your back. Draw your right knee into your chest and grab a hold of your right kneecap with both hands and straighten out your left leg. So as the left leg straightens out, you're going to be doing a little bit of a back bend. You can feel that, but also a really important hip opener. So the front side of your left hip should feel like a good stretch. Take a breath. Good. Exhale, draw the right knee in a little bit closer. So when you do that, you should feel that sensation on your left hip opening up. So inhale, take that right knee away from you a little bit. And exhale, drawing that right knee in a little bit. One more time. Inhale, it goes away. Exhale, it pulls in. This time you're going to hold that right knee in a little bit tighter like this and reach the left arm all the way up over your head. 
So the left palm is facing the ceiling and maybe your hand touches the map, maybe it doesn't. We're gonna open up that whole left front side of you. Take a nice deep breath. You're gonna be taller after class today. Good, now bringing that left hand back down and then we're gonna switch. So take the right foot down and then grab the left knee. Squeezing that left knee in. The right leg's gonna go straight. So sometimes it takes a breath or two to get that right knee to really straighten out because that means that hip flexor's gotta loosen up to do that. So take a breath and exhale, bring that left knee in tight, tight, tight to feel the right hip stretch. And then inhale, bring it away. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, bring it away. And next time, exhale, you're gonna tuck it in tight. You're gonna hold it and release the right arm so it's up over your head. With the palm facing up and a big, long stretch, maybe a nice deep breath here. Good, and then bringing the right hand back down, bending the right leg, bringing it to the floor, and then the left leg to the floor. And now we're gonna add both. So let's straighten out the left leg and straighten out the right leg. So this is, again, a supported back bend. So this might be enough. You can feel that kind of opening here in the front of the hips. If it feels okay, maybe you can try to take both arms up and over your head. So beautiful heart opener, beautiful upper body, lower body stretch. Take a nice deep breath here. And then bend your knees so your feet are flat and your hands come down by your side. And we're gonna end it with an inversion. So you're gonna keep your uh, knees bent, but your feet are off the floor, and then your legs shoot up towards the ceiling. So this is a little bit of a supported um, shoulder stand. You're elevated a little bit. And now point and flex your feet a little bit so you can get the circulation from the bottoms of your toes and your feet back to your heart. And then reach the arms up to the ceiling and open and close the fingers and then twirl the wrists and the ankles in any way you can, maybe bend the knees and bicycle them a little bit. So think about just creating fluidity in your joints. Even your elbows and your shoulders can kind of move organically. So yeah, this is called squirm and that's the official term. We're just squirming around. And then give everything a good little shake. Good for the circulation, good for the joints. Give them a good shake. And then when you come down, Bless you. When you come down, you're going to lift those hips up and remove your block. 